Hello everyone, it's Enigma here, and today I'm going to be talking about something that I kind of want to start predicting for, you know, some releases that I could see for the two remaining, well, not the two remaining, but the two recent Smash characters that were announced at E3. Um, these are characters that um, we know are coming, uh, but that haven't released yet, and we kind of just don't really know when they're going to release besides vague uh, windows, uh, which is summer 2019 and fall 2019. So... Um, basically the characters I'm obviously referring to is the Dragon Quest Hero and Banjo and Kazooie. Both of those characters, uh, kind of had a double reveal as, uh, at E3. Um, they revealed two characters, obviously the Dragon Quest Hero and Banjo and Kazooie. Um, however, they kind of had vague release windows. See, when I, when I thought there would be dropping a Smash character, I honestly thought it would be a Shadow Drop, similar to what we got with Joker. You know, because when the Smash Ultimate update first really, uh update video came out uh we had no idea it was coming it, nintendo just decided to just i don't know just randomly upload it and just show everyone what's going to be in the version 3.0 update for smash so i honestly th was expecting a similar thing with at e3 where they kind of show off the hero and then they're like he's available today so i thought that you know i thought that that's what nintendo would do however hero isn't that far off he uh nintendo gave a window for summer 2019 obviously um we're very we're pretty much in summer i mean it's only a few days away um but this is practically summer so um honestly it's just a matter on when like it, like it really all depends like he could release from now to uh august so we're just wa left wondering you know expecting when that day it is uh that this video will drop on the nintendo youtube channel just out of nowhere and we're just trying to expect uh you know what we could when that video could drop um and i kind of want to predict when I think uh, the hero will come out. So, I've heard a lot of people say that he could possibly come out this month, and I'm sorry, but I do not see that at all. Um, I feel like if he was coming out this month, I'm pretty sure Nintendo would have wouldn't have just left a vague release window only to release him this month. Like, that doesn't make sense at all. Um, I feel like they would have told us when he's coming out, uh, if it was this month, but I don't think it's this month, so, uh, we can already remove June off the table. Um, but then we're left wondering with July or August. Um, now this is kind of, uh kind of the tricky part because it could honestly release at any time i don't think it will release in september i'm expecting july or august because september that's kind of like the end of summer and it's not really like um it's more of a fall month honestly so we're just left wondering whether it's going to be july or august so out of those two months which month do i think the hero will drop like what month i think it will be I think he might drop in July. Now, there's many reasons why I say July, mainly because when we looked at the hero, he honestly looked near complete. In fact, I was honestly surprised and shocked he didn't get shadow dropped, because that's how complete he looked. Like, the stage looks amazing. Uh, the character, he has, like, one of the most versatile movesets in the entire game, so it only made sense to shadow drop him, but that didn't happen. So, my theory, my thing is, they're probably saving it for next month, so that they can randomly drop, uh, the video, and then kind of just drop them there, and then, um, it also makes sense, because, um, a lot of people, you know, a lot of kids, which, this is the game that's, like, this is the audience that the game is attracted to, um, a lot of kids, you know, have summer vacation and stuff like that, and a lot of people, you know, don't have school, so they can spend, the, like, basically the whole summer just trying to get good with Hero, so, um, and it doesn't really make sense to, re to release him at the end of summer, because that's when, you know, everyone's trying to go back to school, and I just don't think an August release makes that much sense, because that's, like, almost the end of summer, so I think he'll, I think Hero will drop around the middle of summer um and another thing is that when joker was dropped um they didn't really give us an exact release date 
they said April 2019. It was April, and we had no idea what day Joker will drop, because Nintendo has said jo uh, Joker will drop in April. We have heard nothing, and it kind of made us uh, suspicious why Joker isn't dropping. But then, uh, April, 6 April 16th rolls around, and we get a random video on the Nintendo YouTube channel talking about the version 3.0 update and Joker's gameplay, and then that's when, you know, he'll be releasing tomorrow, so stay tuned. Um, so that was kind of surprising, and if you guys noticed, that was near the middle of April, so since, uh, so since th they gave us a vague release window of summer, I'm guessing it's probably going to be during the middle of summer, so, um, June won't work because they would have said June's the month that Hero will be dropping in. So we can just remove June. June is definitely not going to be uh, the release window for Hero. But August, that's a little bit too late because it's kind of like it's it's almost starting to become fall at that point, like near August. Uh, so um, we can scratch that out too. I honestly think July makes a whole lot of sense because, again, what's my whole theory about the April thing near the middle of April? I think this might be near the middle of summer. So I think, you know, so, you know, J July is kind of in between with June and August. You know, June is the start of summer, July is the middle of summer, and August is like the end of summer. So... With that in mind, I think July just makes a whole lot of sense because, again, it's the middle of summer, and, you know, I, that might be, you know, Nintendo, it might be what Nintendo might do with the DLC. Again, it's just a theory, I mean, they only did it once uh, with Joker, but I still could see this happen, and I wouldn't be surprised if this is what Nintendo is doing to approach, uh, you know, the release windows and stuff like that. So my theory is that Hero will be dropping in July. But what about Banjo and Kazooie? Now, this is the thing that really surprised me. Banjo and Kazooie's release date is not until a while. And, like, he's not releasing until the fall, like, autumn. So, we got a long time until we are able to experience Banjo and Kazooie, which is honestly surprising because when they showed us Banjo and Kazooie, Kazooie in action, uh, he honestly looked near complete. So, I was left scratching my head, why is it fall? Like, it was honestly really surprising to me because, again, Banjo and Kazooie looked like near complete. So, what's taking it so long? Well, there's possibly a lot of theories, possibly because they got to get spirit battles ready. They probably didn't even start spirit battles. So, maybe that's a possibility, or um, maybe there's just bug fixes that they have to do with Banjo. Maybe there's a lot of bugs with him that they have to fix, but honestly, besides that, that's really all I can see that could really take a while until Banjo is out. Um, so, honestly, with this theory in mind, um, I'm going by with the same theory that it's probably going to be released in the middle of fall. Uh, September, I don't see, because again, that's kind of the start of fall, so it doesn't really make sense to start fall out right with Banjo and Kazooie, especially since normally we have a September Direct then, and I don't see that happening. I think, I think there's a September Direct in September, obviously. That will kind of showcase the fourth DLC character, but I don't think they're going to go in depth with Banjo and Kazooie because they already showed him. Again, I think it's going to be a random video that's dropped on the on the Smash YouTube channel that will go over version 5.0, which is presumably the update that Banjo and Kazooie is going to come with. So, um... I don't think it's going to be September, um, but October is my prediction for when Banjo and Kazooie uh, is going to release. Because um, if you guys never played Banjo and Kazooie, it's kind of like a Halloween esque game. I mean, uh, the main villain of the game is a witch named Gruntilda, and then, you know, uh, it's kind of like, you know, a creepy like game. So, I mean,. It makes sense to reveal him in October because, you know, uh, the main villain of Banjo and Kazooie is a witch, and it just makes sense. Normally, Nintendo doesn't do stuff like that, but hey, it's still my prediction. I'm still going with it. Um, and then November, that's more so a hol- isn't that more so a holiday month? Oh, like, uh, 
like a winter month. I think that's more of a winter month, so definitely not November. Um, so yeah, my prediction for Banjo and Kazooie's release date is probably October. Um, it just makes a whole lot of sense. You know, it's kind of in the middle of uh, fall, and you know, it kind of coincides with Banjo and Kazooie's theme of you know Gruntilda and Witch. Uh, so I think that makes a whole lot of sense for Banjo and Kazooie to release in October. That makes a whole lot of sense. Um. But what about the other? I'll go, I'll go a step further than what I was originally planning. What about the other characters? This is my theory for the other characters. Um, we don't know who they are. We don't know how far they're in development or if Sakurai even started with them, which I'm presuming he probably did. Um, but... What's my theory for what I think, you know, what release date I think the characters will release in? Um, uh, first, Fighter Number 4. I Like I said, I kind of already gave it away. Um, I think that, you know, Nintendo normally has a September Direct every year. Um, that's kind of like, you know, what Nintendo likes to do. Like, every September, they always have a Nintendo Direct. I mean, that's kind of like a theme. So... I think that the next, I think that the fourth character will be shown off at the September Direct, um, if we're having one, you know, Nintendo is kind of unpredictable, but I'm presuming we're probably going to get a September Direct, it just makes a whole lot of sense, um, so I think they will reveal the next character there, uh, there. But I think it's going to be a winter release. I don't think it's going to be a shadow drop because it would mess with the fighter order. Um, I think it's going to be a winter release, specifically December. I think it will be a December release date for the fighter number four. Um, so that makes a whole lot of sense. But fighter number five, when will fighter number five be revealed and released? Um, and I kind of think uh, this is the most logical sense, is that Fighter Number 5 will be shown off at the 2019 Game Awards, and he will, and that's what, that's the character that will release in February 2020. Because we already know there's going to be a character released in February of 2020, because us, uh, Sakurai even stated that that's, uh, that's presumably when the whole Fighter's Pass will be revealed. Uh, that's probably when they're all going to be released by then. Um, of course, you know, we probably, it could possibly change, but I'm thinking that the fifth character will probably be revealed at, um, the 2019 Game Awards with a release date of February. So that's my prediction for the release dates of the Fighters Pass. Um, now, uh, a little recap. Hero, I think he's releasing in July. Banjo, I think he's releasing in, uh, October. Uh, the fourth character, I think, is going to be revealed at a September Direct with a December release. And I think that, um, at the Game Awards, there will be a... The, the fifth and final character will be shown off and will have a, um... And will have a February 2020 release. That is my predictions for, you know, the Fighter's Pass. I think that just makes the most logical sense, and I can actually see that happen. Um, and I can... I... I'm willing to bet money that's probably uh, the release windows for those characters. Um, as for the exact days, I'm not getting into the exact days. This is just the months. So, yeah, that's kind of what we... I feel like that's what we should expect with these characters. I think that's the most logical sense. I think those will be the release windows for those characters. Uh, but what do you guys think? Do you guys think that uh, these... What's your guys' predictions for uh, the Fighters Pass release? dates let me know in the comments down below and i would love to hear it anyways this has been enigma and peace see you next time